Hello humans of the internet, I have a quick update for you before you watch this video. Uh, this video is actually turning out way longer than I expected it to be. Uh, it, when Once everything's edited, it's looking to be 30-40 minutes long, and uh, it, some of the footage is missing from this sequence right now, but uh, I didn't want to make it that long because I didn't think I could actually retain your attention for that long, so instead I'm cutting it into smaller pieces that are a little bit more digestible, uh, and you can be sure to look for parts 2 and maybe even part 3 uh, by tomorrow and the next day. Uh, I know I usually say that and then don't deliver, but most of it's already edited anyway. I just have to cut it up for you. Uh, also, if you are looking for something like this, but a bit more abridged, uh, look out for that. I will be making a more uh, succinct and to the point version of these videos once it's actually all edited together. Whoops, I'm talking over myself there. Uh, so once this is all done in a couple weeks, I will have a much shorter video up that goes through the entire process way more quickly if you're into that. As you might be able to tell, I'm sick right now, so I apologize for the lack of videos this last week or so. I've been sick, I've had recording issues, I've had work issues, there's lots of other things going on, but I do promise we'll be back to normal soon. And with that said, I will see you tomorrow. Bum, 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 ba <laughs> That went too fast. Hello, Hoppers, and welcome back, uh, finally, to my uh, 3D printed computer case that I've decided to call Ellie. Um, I, you guys have been super patient. Uh, well, most of you, I, <laughs> some of you have been very keen to point out, rightfully so, that uh, I was a little bit lax on the printing and assembling, a little bit more heavy on the technical updates without any real progress, but <laughs> I, thank you so much for being supportive uh, and positive and, and patient with me about this. Um, it's really been appreciated, and I hope that you like where this video is going to go. So I'm speaking a bit from the future here. Uh, this file that we're looking at right here is actually what the case looked like on August 12th of this year, and I am recording this, if you can read this in very, very high definition, um, at uh, <laughs> one thirty-six in the morning on uh, September 28th. So it's been a while since then, uh, and it has evolved a lot, but I wanted to sh just show you what um, what it looked like back then so that you'll, you're prepared for um, at least the first print uh, in this video uh, and give you a little bit of, of, of reason for it. So um, right here, you can, you can even, uh, you might be able to recognize this because I've modeled my um, duct tape into there, but uh, this is a mock-up of what the screen uh, looks like. Uh, in real life. Now, it's a little bit off, uh, especially because, um, well, our IT person accidentally deleted this file, as well as, well as my uh, motherboard file, the uh, actual thing that everything would attach to. So if you've noticed from the first episode that this looks significantly different on the inside, that's why. Um, I had to start over, and because of that, I really didn't want to model all that stuff again myself. It's like way too many... It, it, <sighs> Modeling is great, but doing the actual measurement to get it work to work in real life is just a, a pain, and I really didn't want to do it over again, and there's plenty of resources out there. So I actually um, went ahead and used this guy's um, model just for a base. Now, obviously, I've changed it immensely since then, and even more so later on in this video, you'll see how little relation it has left except for, you know, the standardized screws and everything and mounting holes for, like, hard drives and all that. But I did want to give credit where credit is due. Tesla Boy on uh, Thingiverse uh, made the original source for this. Now, if you notice in the back, though, I've changed a ton um, in the back and the front. Uh, so I've I've both, I, I'm gesturing with my hands like you can see me, I've both widened this and heightened it um, so that it'll, it'll fit a low-profile graphics card. Um, it's the tiny little 7 50 Ti. Actually, give a quick update. Yes, I know, another technical aspects update. Uh, this <laughs> computer is now running a ridiculous set of things. It's got the Samsung 850 Pro uh, 256 gig SSD. It's got 16 gigs of Patriot Viper um, DDR3 1866 RAM, uh, the tiny little 750 Ti, um, and uh, all the other, most of, uh, pretty much everything's the same except for the RAM, I think. But uh, just for anybody who's new, it's also got a uh, 4690 and an Asus Z97i Plus motherboard. There we go. That's everything. All right, and I'll I'll link you the uh, the screen in the description because that that's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> it's it's an Amazon link. That's all I need to say. Anyway, I can guarantee that by the end of this video, there will actually be a prototype put together. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, anything else? Oh, the the material you're about to see it printed with. You can see me um, starting to get prepped right now uh, with the printer and everything, putting the uh, hot glue on, or not hot glue, the uh, glue stick on there to help hold it on with the Captain Tape, tape and everything. Um, but the material this is printed with is a really odd one. It's PLA, which is normal, um, rather than ABS. So it's a little less strong than uh, it could be, but um, it also printed much easier. Uh, the weird thing about it, though, is that it's got bronze throughout it, like actual bronze. Um, and I would, ho and I had hoped that it would print out the same way that the filament looks, which is super shiny and beautiful. But instead, it ends up looking like this weird Adobe texture or flesh tone or something. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the past and see how it turned out. Okay, so several days later, uh, this is the piece that you just saw printed. Um, I have not yet cleaned it up, but uh, more or less it turned out actually really well, to be honest. Um, and behind me is actually another piece, another piece that I have recorded, recorded? Printed off camera. <laughs> I, I apologize for that, but seriously, that would make for an incredibly dull video to watch everything get printed, and I can only withstand so many 16 plus hour stints of constant recording before losing my mind. And by the way, even at very high compression, um, the recording of just this one uh, took up 128 gigabytes, and it was nearly down to YouTube quality already, the way I was recording it, so uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a task to record. So anyway, I thought I'd show you... Um, I didn't show the removal of this uh, part from the printer, so I thought I'd show just how difficult uh, it is to get these out with the way that I've cemented them in there. Uh, maybe I didn't need to be so uh, harsh with the pr with the plastic and uh, plastic with the uh, uh, glue and everything, but you know that's what happened. Also, we've had a little bit of an issue. Yes, I am down on the floor, by the way. Um, this is a bit of an awkward area to work in because I am so close to the ground. Anyway, you can see there that um, we had a bit of an issue. Uh, the uh, filament got a little bit more uh, unpredictable uh, the further we went with this, and it uh, had some printing errors for sure. I think it actually got stuck at one point, um, which which was a really terrible point for it to get stuck at right when it was doing that top layer. Uh, and it also messed up uh, several of these holes, so I'll have to do a lot of cleanup on this side. Thankfully, this is all internal to the computer. The outside should look okay still, um, but we may have a bit more re uh, structural reinforcement to do than I expected. So let's just see, whoops, so let's just see how quickly I can actually manage to get this thing out of there. I'm not expecting it to be easy. I haven't actually tried yet. Um, hopefully I don't break anything. Mm. You may have noticed in a previous video, my fingernails are quite uh, long at the moment, but I kind of need them, uh, even though they're a bit flexible, <laughs> to help get these these awful things out of here. All right, um, I'm going to end up having to do like brain surgery on it again, aren't I? Let's see. The tape that um, is underneath these uh, prints, it's called Captain Tape, and it is actually very expensive. It was originally... Uh, ooh, this is coming out a bit easier than the other one. Um, it was originally made for space travel to withstand the rigors of uh, space and everything that goes with them. The heat changes um, and all of that. Oh, whew, I'm going to have to recalibrate the, the entire build plate again for the next piece. Whew, anyway, that was actually far easier, uh, weirdly, than, uh, than the other one. And... Let's see, moment of truth here. I'm, I'm really worried about this. Let's, let's see if uh, the parts fit together. I am expecting to have to shave them down a bit, but... Uh... Okay, so the slots are not going into the... The pegs are not going into the holes, but uh, that's a very good start. I'll be able to shave things down. Um, you can tell, probably, let's see if I can put them close to each other, that uh, the pegs are a bit thicker than the slots, so I will have to fi I'll fix that a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually starting to turn into a real thing. That's amazing. Uh, let's see if I can hold them together and uh, test the uh, little screen out with them as well. Yeah, it looks like once we uh, narrow that gap a bit, that'll be just about right. I <laughs> I am so excited. I, I've, I've nearly got half of the, uh, the oh, I've, I basically do, do have half of the computer printed. I do wish this inside area here was a bit uh, cleaner. So you can see a big difference there um, because I did end up having to print these hollow. Um, the, uh, 
the problem was that uh, originally printing with this ABS plastic here, uh, it was coming out really well um, and doing great, but the amount of time going into the prints was immense. I almost said immaculate. Um, yes, I did end up with very, very solid prints, but if a single thing went wrong, I would have to com just completely cancel it and start over again. And this one had several issues, including, as you can see here, it actually got burnt while on the build plate. That's the top of it, not the bottom, um, because of how much it was warping. Um, so uh, PLA has turned out much, much better, if not a little bit, um, you know, hollow just because of my own needs. Um, it, it by no means uh, needed to be hollow, but because of the amount of uh, plastic I would be using, I kind of just had to be that way, especially because I need this done by a very specific date and printing them sol solidly would not actually work for that. So maybe in the future I'll, I'll print these completely solid, but uh, for now, hopefully this will hold up for me. I, I'm not, I don't plan to be very hard on them, so we'll see. Well, we have seen, and I was rough on them like I didn't plan to be, and it didn't hold up. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I tried to make this work. The way it was hollow really did kind of worry me, and it didn't work out. But it's actually for the better anyway, because had this been perfect, I would have been a little uh, heartbroken, actually. Because uh, there was actually an issue with the specs that I used. Um, yes, I am still crammed in on the floor, by the way. Thank you for noticing. Uh, <laughs> the uh, specs that I used actually had an issue. So if you can see right here, uh, the uh, GPU is a bit taller than, uh, than my case is. I used exactly what was laid out in the specs, and it was off by about 6 millimeters. So that's awesome. Uh, yes, I d was able to get like the uh, uh, IO shield in and everything worked hunky-dory. Um, I've got all the nice newer parts in there, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to reprint it, which is what's going on right behind me right now. And I've got to make this part of the video quick. I don't want to be uh, content ID flagged by Nintendo, as I notice I have a Zelda shirt on and a Mario hat behind me. But um, that's what's happening now. I'm having to reprint the whole thing and quickly at that because I've got another new deadline uh, to go with. So the kids have already seen this um, built, put together in this way. So yeah, we've got we've got it all put together. It is working. It's got the power supply underneath uh, without its housing yet because I did want to test this out halfway. Uh, the tape is was really just here as a um, precaution. Uh, this the arm did break on this spot, unfortunately, but. Um, the other tape in front and back was just to hold it there while the glue set and everything. Um, I do, well it's going to be hard to see underneath, it is very hot in here by the way, I'm trying to rush through this part, but if you see underneath, uh, I've got a couple of, uh, not just holes, but actually screws in there because I do have my um, 850 series Samsung SSD uh, plugged in. Everything is working, um, just not pretty at all. The bronze plastic does look goofy and it's all janky. Not tape, it's kind of half taped together. The students even pointed that out, the young elementary kids, uh, and it's not going to fit anyway with the lid on. So I'm reprinting back here. Um, I, there's already there's already been several um, false starts. If you can see this, oh it's going to be hard to see against my black shirt, but um, this uh, was one of the many false starts with this black plastic that is very, very uh, <laughs> frustrating to use. Um, it's this very cheap Shaxon PLA black uh, uh, 3D printing filament and the problem with it is, uh, let me show the camera up front, um, that 180 to 240 degrees Celsius printing range that it claims is A, super super wide and uh, B, really wrong. Um, I started out around the same temperature that I used for this PLA right here, about 202 degrees Celsius, and I've had to jack it up slowly. This is attempt number four, I believe, with this plastic at 235 degrees. Um, and I may even have to go over the temperature it even says on here. It's a very wide range, very frustrating. Um, it seems to be doing better now, but if you saw in that little close-up, it uh, is a bit... Uh, pockmarked. It, it, it's starting to clear up now because it's getting deeper into the layers, but there's going to be a lot of cleanup to do on it. So that's where we stand now. I doubt there will be a high-speed footage of this one or any of the component parts go going on uh, after that. Um, 
<laughs> for several reasons actually. But I will show you what it looks like um, on the computer because I, I have changed a bit about it. Uh, this was a, a nice uh, dry run basically uh, because with it hollow I was able to focus on the parts that needed a bit more structural stability. So with that in mind, I'm also printing it completely filled in, which is what I had wanted to do in the first place. That's why it's going to take so much longer, but hopefully this time it'll work out, even if it's a little uh, on the outside, I'll be able to sand it down and everything because there's not going to be any hollowness further in. So, so without that hollowness on the inside, I can get it a lot nicer looking. I may even be able to do a very quick bath in um, a chemical or two. Um, just to get it nice and smooth and everything, and I'll keep you posted. Uh, here's hoping.